to and Chichapur World Rail Line. For Gurgaon Faridabad Metro, DPR Ready, in May 2020, the detailed project report, DPR, and survey for the 32 km, 20 mi, long Gurgaon Faridabad Metro link from Vataika Chalkin Gururam to Bata Chalkin Faridabad was completed, which will have eight stations, of which the 28 km, 17 mi, elevated stretch along the Gurgaon Faridabad road through eco sensitive wildlife corridor will be elevated. 5 Bahadurga, Brigadier Hoshi Singh Metro Station, Rotic City, a Green Line extension partially approved to Azord Har Bahadurga to Azorda Railway Station section, to connect with Haryana Orbital Rail Corridor at Azord Har Station, is covered in FI 2023-24 budget of Haryana Guft. 6 Tanza Bus Stand Jajjar City, a Grey Line extension, proposed but not approved. Uttar Pradesh, UP, Projects, Edit. 1 Shiv Vihaloni, proposed but not approved. 2 Noida Noida International Airport, a 35 km, 22 mi, surface line along the Yamuna Expressway serving the proposed Noida International Airport. The line, envisioned to be completed by 2025 will connect with the Noida Metro. Operations, edit. Trains operate at a frequency of 1 to 2 minutes to 5 to 10 minutes between 5 and midnight, depending upon peak and off-peak hours. They typically travel up to 75 km per hour, 47 miles per hour, and stop for about 20 seconds at each station. Automated station announcements are in Hindi and English. Many stations have ATMS, food outlets, cafes, convenience stores and mobile recharge. Eating, drinking, smoking, and chewing gum are prohibited. The metro has a sophisticated fire alarm system for advance warning in emergencies, and fire retardant material is used in trains and stations. Navigation information is available on Google Maps. Since October, 2010, the first coach of every train is reserved for women. The last coach is also reserved when the train changes tracks at the terminal stations on the red, green and violet lines. The mobile Delhi Metro Rail app has been introduced for iPhone and Android users with information such as the location of the nearest metro station, fares, parking availability, nearby tourist attractions, Security and Emergency Helpline Numbers Security, Edit Security has been provided by the CISFUNIT DMRC since 2007. Closed circuit cameras monitor trains and stations, and their feeds are monitored by the CISF and Delhi Metro authorities. Over 7,000 CISF personnel have been deployed for security in addition to metal detectors. X-ray baggage inspection systems, and detection dogs. 18 Delhi Metro Rail Police stations have been established, and about 5,200 CCTV cameras have been installed. Each underground station has 45 to 50 cameras, and each elevated station has 16 to 20 cameras. The cameras are monitored by the CISF and the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation. Intercoms are provided in each train car for emergency communication between passengers and the train operator. Periodic security drills are carried out at stations and on trains. The DMRC is considering raising station walls and railings for passenger safety. Ticketing, edit. A Delhi Metro token. The Metro's fares were last revised on the 10th of October. 2017, based on the recommendation of the 4th Fair Fixation Committee in May 2016. Metro commuters have five choices for ticket purchases. One RFID token, RFID tokens are valid only for a single journey on the day of purchase. Their value depends on the distance traveled, with fares for a single journey ranging from 10. 
13 cents US to 6075 cents US. Fares are calculated based on the distance between the origin and destination stations. Two smart card, smart cards are available for longer terms and are the most convenient for frequent commuters. Valid for 10 years from the date of purchase or the date of the last recharge, they are available in denominations of 200, 2 US dollars and 50 cents, to 3,000, 37 US dollars and 60 cents. A 10% discount is given, with an additional 10% discount for off-peak travel. A new card has a 5,0,63 cents US deposit, refundable on its return before expiry if physically undamaged. For women commuters, the Delhi government unsuccessfully proposed a fair exemption scheme. A common ticketing facility, allowing commuters to use smart cards on Delhi Transport Corporation, DTC, buses and the metro, was introduced on the 28th of August, 2018. Three tourist card, tourist cards can be used for unlimited travel on the Delhi metro for short periods of time. There are two kinds of tourist cards, valid for one and three days. The cost of a one-day card is 200, 2 US dollars and 50 cents, and a three-day card is 500, 6 US dollars and 30 cents, including a refundable deposit of 5063 cents US, paid at purchase. For National Common Mobility Card, part of the Indian government's One Nation, One Card policy, the National Common Mobility Card is an interoperable transport card enabling a user to pay for travel, tolls, shopping and cash. Enabled through RUPAY, the NCMC was commissioned on the Airport Express line on the 28th of December, 2020. In June, 2023, DMRC completed the upgrade of its Automatic Fare Collection, AFC, systems to be compliant with NCMC services. 5 QR Code Based Ticketing a Delhi Metro QR ticket is a mobile-based ticket allowing travel like a token or recharge card. A ticket can be bought online with the Ride app. For entry and exit, the QR ticket is scanned at the AFC gates. Similar to mobile-based tickets, paper QR tickets can be bought at a station. Problems, edit. As the Metro has expanded, High ridership on new trains has led to increasing overcrowding and delays. To alleviate the problem, eight coach trains have been introduced on the yellow and blue lines and more frequent trains have been proposed. Infrequent, overcrowded and erratic feeder bus services connecting stations to nearby localities have also been a concern. Although the quality and cleanliness of the Delhi Metro have been praised, Rising fares have been criticized, fares are higher than those of the bus services the metro replaced. According to a recent study, Delhi metro fares are some of the world's least affordable among metros charging over US$0.5 per ride. Another study finds that Delhi metro may also have a low ridership problem compared to its size and may not be generating the amount of traffic a metro system generates. Feeder buses, edit. DMRC began its feeder bus service in 2007 with a fleet of 117 minibuses on 16 routes. In January, 2024, it had a fleet of 47 electric feeder buses on 5 routes to 9 metro stations, Kashmir Gate, Gokulpuri, Shastri Park, Laxminagar, East Vinodnagar, Maya Vihar 2, Anand Vihar, Dalshad Garden, Vishwavidyalaya, and GT Vinagar. The routes are 1MC 127, Kashmir Gate to Harsh Vihar, 2MC 137, Shastri Park to Maya Vihar Phase 3, 3MC 137, Mini Udyogbawan to Vanajiabawan. 4MC 341, 
Maya Viha phase through to Harsh Viha. 5 ml 06, Vishwavid Yalaya to Shankapura. Ridership, edit. Note that DMRC reports different metrics versus the daily ridership below. DMRC report daily passenger journeys, for example, in 2022-23, DMRC reported that average daily passenger journeys were approx 4.63 million per day as compared to 5.16 million per day in 2019-20, pre-COVID. Metro service was suspended on the 25th of March 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Operations resumed on the 12th of September 2020 and the average daily ridership fell to 8.78 lakh 0.88 million in FI 2020-21. The maximum daily ridership passenger journeys of 7.109 million was reported on the 13th of February 2024. Average daily ridership. Year ridership. 2,405. 124,000. 2,506. 268,000. 2,607. 484,000 2,708 625,000 2,809 722,000 2,910 919,000 2,010 11 1,259,000 878,000 2021-22 Asterisk includes Rapid Metro Gurgaon Finances, edit Summary Financials, edit Graphs are unavailable due to technical issues There is more info on Fabricator and on MediaWiki.org Source the Delhi Metro has been operating with a loss in EBT, earnings before taxes, since 2010, although the loss has shrunk since 2015-16. Its EBITDA, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, declined from 73% in FI 2007 to 27% in FI 2016-17 before improving to 30% in 2017-18. The Metro began a naming policy for stations in 2014, awarded by an open e-tendering process, to generate non-fair revenue. Funding and Capitalization, Edit. DMRC is owned by the Government of the National Capital Territory of Delhi and the Government of India. Total debt was 291.5 billion, US dollar 3.7 billion, 
in March 2016, and equity capital was 239.9 billion, US dollar 3.0 billion. The cost of the debt is 0% for Union Government and Delhi Government loans, and from 0.01 and 2.3% for Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, loans. On 31 March 2016, 193.1 billion, US dollar 2.4 billion, was paid up capital, the rest is reserves and surplus. Depots, edit. The Delhi Metro has 15 depots. Delhi Metro depots. Line line name number of depots location opening date. One red line one Shastri Park the 25th of December 2002. Norella depot 2024. Two yellow line three Cyrospa depot the 28th of May 2020. Khyber Pass the 20th of December 2004 Sultanpur the 21st of June 2010 3 forward slash 4 blue line 2 Yamuna Bank the 10th of May 2009 Najafka the 21st of December 2005 5 green line 2 Munka India's first standard gauge depot the 2nd of April 2010 Modern Industrial Estate, MIE, the 24th of June, 2018. Six Violet Line 2 Sarita Vihar, the 3rd of October, 2010. Neelam Chalkatronda, the 6th of September, 2015. Airport Express Wandwalker Sector 21, the 23rd of February, 2011. 7 Pink Line 2 Mukampur the 14th of March 2018 Vinodnagar Gazipur the 31st of October 2018 8 Magenta Line 2 Kalindi Kunj Chasala Vihar Shaheen Ba the 25th of December 2017 Mangal Puri 2024 9 Grey Line 1 Najafka the 4th of October 2019 Some depots, such as Shastri Park and Yamuna Bank, are near their respective at-grade station complexes, others, such as Sarita Vihar and Munka, are joined indirectly to the main line. The Najafka depot is unique in housing trains from the Blue and Grey Lines. The Sarita Vihar depot will house Violet and Golden Line trains in the future. The Phase 3 Kalindi Kunj and Vinodnagar depots were built differently due to land acquisition issues. The former has an extra elevated stabling yard adjacent to the Jasala Vihar, Shaheen Bas station, and the latter has two sub depots, one with two floors. An elevated stabling yard was also built adjacent to the Noida Electronic City Station, but it is not considered a depot. As part of Phase 4, the Mukampa depot will be expanded to accommodate the pink and magenta lines without land acquisition issues. Rolling Stock, Edit The Metro has two rail gauges. Phase I lines have 5 feet 6 in. 1,676 mm, broad gauge rolling stock, and three phase two lines have 1,435 mm, 4 feet 8, plus, one two in, rolling stock. Trains are maintained at seven depots at Khyber Pass and Sultanpur for the yellow line, Munka for the green line, Najafka and Yamuna Bank for the blue line. Shastri Park for the Red Line, and Sarita Vihar for the Violet Line. Magalv trains were considered for some Phase 3 lines, but DMRC decided to continue with conventional rail in August 2012. By the 31st of March 2015, the company had a total of 1,306 coaches, 220 trains, in addition to line extensions, two new lines, 7 and 8, were proposed in Phase 3. Unattended train operation, UTO, will be in 486 coaches, 81 six-car trains. 
an additional 258 broad gauge BG coaches four lines 1 to 4 and 138 standard gauge SG coaches four lines 5 and 6 were proposed at the end of phase 3 there would be 2188 coaches 333 trains except for a few four car trains on line 5 93 percent of the trains would have a six or eight car configuration at the end of phase three broad gauge edit rolling stock is provided by two major suppliers phase i rolling stock was supplied by a consortium of companies hyundai rotem mitsubishi corporation and melco the coaches look similar to the mtr rotem emu but have only four doors sliding doors instead of plug doors are used the coaches were initially built in south korea by rotem then in bangalore by bimal through a technology transfer arrangement the trains consist of four lightweight 3.2 meter wide 10 feet 6 in stainless steel coaches with vestibules permitting movement throughout them and can carry up to 1500 passengers with 50 seated and 330 standing passengers per coach. The coaches are air-conditioned, equipped with automatic doors, microprocessor-controlled brakes and secondary air suspension, and can maintain an average speed of 32 km per hour, 20 miles per hour, over a distance of 1.1 km, 0.68 m. The system is extendable to eight coaches, and platforms have been designed accordingly. Phase 2 rolling stock is supplied by Bombardier Transportation, which received an order for 614 cars at a cost of about US$1.1 billion. Although the initial trains were made in Gorlitz, Germany and Sweden, the remainder will be built at Bombardier's factory in Savely, near Vedadra. The four and six car trains have a capacity of 1,178 and 1,792 commuters each, respectively. Coaches have closed circuit television, CCTV, cameras with eight hour backup, chargers for cell phones and laptops, and improved climate control. Standard gauge, edit. Standard gauge rolling stock is manufactured by BIML at its factory in Bangalore, and most of these trains are supplied to BIML by Hyundai Rotem. The four car trains have a capacity of 1,506 passengers, accommodating 50 seated and 292 standing passengers in each coach. The trains, with CCTV cameras in and outside the coaches, Chargers for mobile phones and laptops, improved climate control and microprocessor control disc brakes, will be capable of maintaining an average speed of 34 km per hour, 21 miles per hour, over a distance of 1.1 km, 0.68 m. Airport Express, edit. Eight six car trains supplied by CAF Bizine were imported from Spain. CAF held 5% equity in the Dame project, and Reliance Infrastructure held the remaining 95% before DMRC took over operations. Trains on this line have noise reduction and padded fabric seats. Coaches are equipped with LCD screens for entertainment and flight information. Trains have an event recorder which can withstand high levels of temperature and impact and wheels have a flange lubrication system for reduced noise and improved comfort. Signaling and telecommunication, edit. The Metro uses cab signaling with a centralized automatic train control system consisting of automatic operation, protection and signaling modules. A 380 MHz digital trunk Tetra radio communication system from Motorola Solutions is used on all lines to carry voice and data information. For the blue line, Siemens supplied the electronic interlocking SICAS, the Vicus OC500 operation control system and the LZB700M automation control system. 
an integrated system with optical fiber cable, on-train radio, CCTV, and a centralized clock and public address system is used for telecommunication during normal operations and emergencies. Alstom supplied the signaling system for the red and yellow lines, and Bombardier Transportation supplied its CityFlow 350 signaling system for the green and violet lines. The Airport Express line introduced Wi-Fi service at all its stations on the 13th of January 2012. Connectivity in trains is expected in the future. Wi-Fi service is provided by U Broadband and Cable India. In August 2017, Wi-Fi service began at all the 50 stations of the Blue Line. A fully automated, operatorless train system was offered to the metro by the French technology firm Thales. Environment and Aesthetics, Edit. The Metro has received awards for environmentally friendly practices from organizations including the United Nations, RENA, and the International Organization for Standardization. It is the second Metro in the world, after the New York City subway, to be ISO 14001 certified for environmentally friendly construction. By March 2023, 64 Metro stations four sections on the central verge between piers, and 12 other phase I and two locations on the network have rainwater harvesting for environmental protection. All 27 phase four elevated stations will also harvest rainwater, and 52 recharge pits are being constructed for this purpose. It is the world's first railway project to earn carbon credits after being registered with the United Nations under the UN's Clean Development Mechanism, and has earned 400,000 carbon credits with the regenerative braking systems on its trains. DMRC installed the Metro's first rooftop solar power plant at the Dwarka Sector 21 station in 2014. The network received 35% of its energy from renewable sources by April 2023, which it intends to increase to 50% by 2031. Of this, 30% comes from the Rua Ultra Mega Solar Park in Madoya Pradesh, 4%, 50 MWP, comes from rooftop solar panels, and 1% comes from a waste-to-energy plant in Gazipur. DMRC has installed solar panels at 142 locations, 15 depots, 93 stations, and 34 other buildings. The metro has been promoted as an integral part of community infrastructure, and artwork depicting the local way of life has been displayed at stations. Students at local art colleges have designed murals at metro stations and the viaduct pillars of some elevated sections have been decorated with mosaic murals created by local school children. The metro station at Ina Colony has a gallery of artwork and handicrafts from across India, and all stations on the central secretariat Kuchuk Minar section of the Yellow Line have panels depicting Delhi's architectural heritage. The Nobel Memorial Wall at Rajiv Chowk has portraits of the seven Indian Nobel laureates, Rabindranath Tagore, C. V. Raman, Hargobind Khorana, Mother Teresa, Subramanian Chandra Sekhar, Amitya Sen and Venkat Raman Ramakrishnan. In popular culture, edit. A number of films have been shot in the Delhi Metro. The first was Biwayfar in November 2003. Delhi 6, Love Arj Kal, Park, and Par also have scenes filmed inside Delhi Metro trains and stations. Bang Bang was filmed near the Maya Vihar Extension Metro station in March 2014, and the 2019 film War was filmed in the Metro. See also, edit. One Urban Rail Transit in India. Two Delhi Suburban Railway. 3 Transport in Delhi 1 National Capital Region Transport Corporation 2 Delhi Transport Corporation 
list of suburban and commuter rail systems. 5 lists of urban rail transit systems. 6 list of metro systems. 7 metro tunneling. Good. Let's stop the video. I think I will make some video on my language tennis about this dentometer. That's one of the world's biggest metro. So if I ever fly from uh, Denmark, from Copenhagen, Denmark.